Hey everybody. So here we have this computer for service. It's a Dell Inspiron 3668. And the reason why it's here is because the owner is wanting to have it uh, basically tuned up. We want to see what we can do to improve the performance of this thing. And of course, this is one of those modern desktops from the big OEMs that say the heck with the HX standard, let's do things our own way. Um, the motherboard, the power supply, all that good stuff in this thing is proprietary. It's not the ATX standard and I don't even think it's ATX 12VO. This machine is from 2018, I do think. I'll have to look up the service tag on this enough for sure, which I'll probably do here in a moment. Um, but <clears throat> I do want to see if it's salvageable. As far as I know, it's working okay. Um, he said there was an issue with the card reader, which I'll have to look at. And um, in that case, I'm hoping it's not. This isn't one of those systems where the card reader and front ports are all integrated into the motherboard. That's one of the reasons why I don't like these machines. It's because they're not very serviceable. Um, if something major fails, you're pretty much better off just chunking the whole thing and replacing it. Maybe salvaging some parts out of it, like the CPU and RAM and stuff like that, and buy maybe a used motherboard off of eBay or something to build a new system with, or a somewhat new system. But, what we'll do is we'll get this plugged up, and um, I'll get it started up, I'll go through it, see what we need to do with it, I did uh, mention to the customer that I'm going to look into options like maybe upgrading to a solid state drive and things like that. Or if it's really that bad off, we'll look into a replacement. But, so due to the nature of this being someone else's machine, I may have to blur out or not include some parts just to protect the privacy of the customer. But, anyways, you look at this thing, you look at Altiplex 390, you can see the difference in size. Yeah, I'm not much of a fan of these things, but anyways, let's go and get this plugged up and have a look at it. Okay, so we're in, and um, I've got Notepad pulled up full screen because there is a family photo on the desktop. I don't want to show this on YouTube. But um, it does appear that our main issue with this machine is, of course, very slow performance thanks to a hard disk drive. And you can see right now the hard drive activity is at 100%. So, this thing definitely would benefit from a solid state drive. I don't necessarily even think we need to reinstall Windows on this thing. I mean, I do believe that just simply doing an SSD swap would make a big difference in performance on this machine. We have 12 gigs of RAM in this thing. We have a Core i5-7400 CPU, which you can see is a 7th gen Intel Core i5. Oh, got some stuff popping up on the desktop. See, there's stuff loading in the background. I got this thing off the internet right now, too. Skype is trying to load, and it's taking forever to get off. That took long enough. Um, I might go ahead and offer the option to the uh, customer to just wipe and reinstall. I'll back up his files and do a clean installation of Windows 10 if that's what he wants. And as you had seen, 7th gen Intel Core CPU, therefore, this computer from 2018 does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class Minutes requirements on Windows 11. What a shame. This thing is from 2018, it's just going on 5 years old, and Microsoft will deem this machine as e-waste before it's even 10 years old. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at our specs here. So it's Windows 10 Home 22H2, and he did say that he had this thing service before because I do see um, Windows 10 was installed back in 2020. He may have, or whoever services the machine, might have just used the um, factory Dell partition because I did see Dell stuff in the start menu, like what you would see bundled with a new computer from Dell. So. 
It's Intel Core i5, 7400 CPU, 12 gigs of memory, and we got a hard disk drive in here. Not sure the size just yet. I'll have to look at that. But um, it does appear that one thing this thing would definitely benefit from is having a solid state drive. So I'm going to shut this down and let's go ahead and have a look inside. See if we can put an M.2 drive in this thing or if we're going to have to go with a 2.5 inch SSD. Okay, so I got the cover off of this thing. Now, to really get into this machine, you have to do a few things. First, you got to take this front bezel off. And then, you pull up on this here, and that gets the hard drive out of the way. Alright, so I'm looking at this machine, and... <clears throat> We do not have an M.2 slot on this thing. Uh, M.2 was still pretty new back in 2018. Some computers had the slot, others did not. Um, so usually, if they would have, usually if they had the M.2 slot, it would be like in this area, generally. I think it's safe to say that what we'll probably end up doing is just popping in a uh, two and a half inch SATA SSD. I got some 512 gig SSDs, and I've also got some 256 gig SSDs on hand as well. So we have a Toshiba hard drive, and it is a uh, so one terabyte hard drive and this machine also has the uh, it has dedicated slots for two and a half inch drives right here but I think I think the deal with these is um, you have to have the specific uh, trays for them what I might do is I might look up online and see if there's an STL file I might be able to 3D print them so I had to buy them from somewhere the other option is to just go without the hard drive entirely and go straight to an SSD. So option one would be to use like a 256 gig solid state drive to handle the operating system and programs and then put all the files over on a uh, hard, on the hard drive as a data partition or option B would be to get a larger SSD, I say at least 512 gigabytes. I don't think this hard drive had a whole lot of stuff on it. And just replace the hard drive entirely. So, also I should note that, as I suspected, this motherboard, the SD reader, and all the four, all the uh, ports up front, they're all integrated into the motherboard. Isn't that wonderful? On older computers, if the card reader failed, you just replace the card reader. It's USB. Whereas on these things, it's integrated into the motherboard. So that's why I don't like these newer computers. They're, they're junk. I'm sorry. They're junk. <laughs> From a technician standpoint, they are, they're garbage. Uh, this is why last year, I think last summer, I shot a video and posted it to the channel on why you should consider a custom-built PC for your next computer and not continue to buy this stuff from Dell and HP and stuff like that. But anyways, um, I'm going to investigate that card reader. Hopefully it was just dirty. I mean, it did have some dirt in it, some dust in it, which I cleaned that out with the air compressor earlier today. And the customer also mentioned that when he turns this machine on, the screen, the monitor, briefly goes blank and comes back on. He says once it warms up, it works fine. And I think that's specifically a monitor issue nothing to do with this machine because it worked fine on my monitor here but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for this one because I gotta let the customer know my findings and we'll um, have a plan of action we're definitely I definitely believe we'll be putting a solid state drive in this I mean it really needs an SSD you put an SSD in this thing it's gonna wake it up significantly performance wise um, we do that, uh, that'll make things a whole lot nicer. 
And if he wants, we can reinstall Windows 10. Or if he really wants, we could go with Windows 11 despite this machine not meeting the elite class requirements. You know, it's to the point where I'm getting, as a tech, I'm getting fed up with the elite class system requirements for Windows 11. As I stated in a previous video, um, if you put Windows 11 on a system not meeting the requirements, specifically 23H2 Windows 11, It'll get updates and support for longer than Windows 10 now because Windows 10 support ends in October 2025 and Windows 11 23H2 support ends in November or December 2025. So, yeah, a little difference there. Not to, not to mention, um, the system could be brought back for a manual upgrade to 24H2 if necessary. So, anyways, wraps up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can notify a new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.